We're here at the San Francisco Hilton for the 24th annual GLAAD Media Awards, where we're moments away from getting on the red carpet with some of San Francisco's most fabulous friends. So stay tuned because you're watching Gay Club TV. How's the Glad Media Awards so far? Uh, it's terrific. I, I, I'm just honored to be here. It's a lot of fun. I, for me, this is all kind of new. I came out uh, to the New York Times last September, and okay. I was in uh, professional sports for 16 years. I was a uh, CEO and managing general partner of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So right. it's all been. This is all new, and it's all great. And it's great to be open about who I am and. Yeah. Not hiding anymore. So, um, why coming out so so later in life? What had scared you away for a little bit? Well, you know, they first of all, no no owner had ever come out in professional sports, and right. and till just a couple of weeks ago, no player in the exactly. uh, had ever come out. So it, it there is a culture, there's a homophobic environment around professional sports. It's changing, right. and it's changing in the right way. But I, it wasn't the right time for me to do it, and. I, I don't think, you know, I think everybody has to figure out when their right time is. Right. And I, I remember watching an interview with Billie Jean King, and she was outed, and, and she said it was the worst experience. She wanted to do it on her terms, right. and, 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 and I think everybody should be able to do it. But, right. but, but what's happened with Jason Collins is amazing. I, I, it, was, it was an emotional thing when I heard he came out. So you want to talk a little bit more about Jason Collins and what he's, he's done for us? No, he, he, well, he's done an amazing thing. and, and you know, but it's important to understand that it's it's the Billie Jean Kings, it's the Martina Navratilova's, the Dave Copays, Greg Louganis's, Billy Beans, all these people that have been in professional sports that came out right. and sort of made it easier for the next one to come out. Right. And now Jason has opened that door that we didn't know when it was going to open. And I couldn't be more proud of him. It's going to help so many young kids out there. He's going to save lives because that, but because of his action and and how, and how do you feel coming out now? Do you feel like it was acceptance? Do you had a better experience? I had a great experience. I didn't know what to expect, um, you know, because you're in an environment. Until I, I uh, had dinner one night with a guy named Billy Bean, who was wrote a book, and he was in baseball and a player and. And, and I had never talked to anybody in baseball. I didn't even know anybody else was gay in baseball. So <laughs> yeah. like going to dinner with Billy and just talking about it, it, it was amazing. And, and, and it's, it's great to know that there's other people out there and there's going to be more, more coming in the right. near future. So what can we expect to help the, the, the gay community in uh, the sports and the sports arenas of, of America? Well, I, I think you need leadership from the commissioner's office of all four, four sports, um, Major League Baseball, the NFL, NBA, NHL. The commissioners need to go to their coaches, need to go to their front office and say, look, we're going to have gay players coming. It, 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 and make sure when they get there, they have a soft landing, that, that people treat them well. And, 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 that's gonna, and that should be done in high school and college and in minor league baseball all levels coaches have to get ready and say if you want to play the game play the game because you know what sports baseball is my sport it's all about statistics you can either hit the ball or you can't so if somebody can hit the ball I, you know whether they're gay straight doesn't matter they should be able to play the game. do you feel like it's getting better now yeah i do i really do and i think the news about jason is amazing and and we, we all should be very excited and very proud of him. So what are your plans for the rest of the evening? Uh, I'm going to go have fun. I, I grew up in San Francisco, so I've got my sister and some relatives here. And so I'm going to go hang out with them and have a good time, have a party. All right. Well, it was so nice meeting you. It's such an honor. Congratulations and welcome to the community. Have a great rest of the, uh, the GLAAD Media Awards. And it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you.